here is what's left of my pole here for my Alta Delta DXCC dipole. This thing split right there. The last snowstorm we had. And this is a fiberglass and whatever else junk holds us together. This was my uh, NASCAR flagpole. It's not anymore. But my antenna is still in good use. It's just on the ground. So I got to get it back up in the air. This was brought down by the snow that we had last week. The weight of it uh, got too, too tough on this thing. First of all, that tree over there I had it tied to the, the weight of the snow bent that cedar tree branch down to where it had too much slack on this wire and the, the weight of the snow just brought this booger down and just split right there. Now I gotta figure out how I'm gonna put this back up in the air besides the obvious. You may ask me why do I not put it up right there with that antenna right there that pole well here's a couple of good reasons one reason is those called power lines and I have trees and tree branches so I gotta do something different than, than that to stay away from the the house and power lines and tree branches this is a pretty good open spot as you can see nothing but blue skies all the way around to the other side closest uh, tree is this little baby one and I don't know we're looking at about 10 feet away from it or so as you can see this is where this is how close it will come to these trees over here so we got plenty of room on each side it looks about the same As for my flagpole, we'll try to find something to do with it. We'll use it for something. Rednecks always have a good way of taking trash and making it into something useful. This is the pole I'm going to use for this dipole. There's two sections to it. This is one more. Try to anchor it down to. I've got an idea for something else. But that pole. Oops. Did something different right there. That pole should fit right in there with all that junk. It's been sitting in the garage for a couple of years. So it's got a lot of junk in there, but that'll be alright. I could still talk with a lot of trash in that hole. You see that's in a it's in a bucket. And there's my poles. And I'll stack them. And I'm gonna get out there and talk. Hopefully that will do the trick. Alright. As you can see I got this center point connected. took just a wire putting that to that uh, eye bolt right there I'll hold her up really not much weight comes on that after both ends are tied off just the initial putting up
so that should hold everything up for right now got a little bit of bow in it but that'll go away once I tighten everything everything down a little flimsy but actually it's a lot more stiff than that other pole was all right I have the my temporary setup here I still need to do some work to it I'm out of electrical tape or duct tape whatever you want to use you'll see why you got coax running up there but it's up probably a little higher than what it was and it's got a bow to it not really sure how well this is going to work uh, it's currently not windy right now see how I got this kind of guided down that's another reason why I'm not done with this what I want to do is go back up there the little eye bolt up there that I have that connected to I want to take some nylon string and kind of help guide off both directions because we had a time going it was going swaying back and forth so I have bungee cords my OU's bungee cords tied off on each end that one's going down to the lawnmower and I was planning on getting rid of the lawnmower out here but it looks like it's going to stay a while from this view you can tell that it's a little bit out of shape up there. It's another thing I'll have to do when I bring it down. On that side you see how the wires are kind of doing all shapes and sizes. I don't really think that's going to affect talking but it doesn't really look good. Of course I'm not really worried about the way it looks because by golly Look around how I've got this, uh, how I've got it made. But that's the end of it. I'm six foot four with my wing. I could just barely touch it. So that tells you that it's probably about eight foot or so. Eight. <laughs> now this side, this side is um, a lot, a lot higher. <laughs> that's probably about nine and a half ten feet right there to that one of course I've got it tied to a tree actually got it wrapped around a tree and tied down to my fence post this is what it looks like from over here it'll take a little bit of wind to see what I actually got but I'll probably more than likely here in the next day or two take it back down and uh, Uh, do what it's uh, you know do some cosmetic work and make it a little bit more sturdier this is how I have it into the bucket and it seems to hold up very well for right now it's definitely heavy so there you go that's my Alpha Delta DXCC dipole antenna HF80 through 10 meters and that'll get me talking tonight and should work out very well like I said I need to take care of that coax I ran out of electrical tape what I usually use and I don't have any duct tape on me either what's a redneck without duct tape uh, someone ought to take the redneck card away from me Okay, thank you for watching. I'll have more videos up soon.